Hello everyone and welcome to another C Sharp tutorial. So in this video we're going to be going over files and how to read and write to them. So first thing is I want to go over because we will see this is this using keyword. So this using keyword as per the documentation states that uh, the using statement defines a scope at the end of which an object will be disposed Okay, that's not this. Or you, the using directive creates an alias for a namespace or imports types defined in other namespaces. And that's what this is. We're, this is the using directive. Um, right now it's saying the using directive is unnecessary because we're not using any of these. Um, but essentially we're, um, we're trying to uh, import uh, this namespace using um, system dot collections, uh, same thing with um, system IO, anyways. Um, so that is essentially uh, how, what the using um, directive is. We're going to be using the using statement in here because we're going to be creating an object that we want um, garbage collected essentially. So and since uh, again as for the documentation it says defines a scope at the end of which an object will be disposed. So we need to dispose of it at the end of this scope. So um, when we get there, I'll show you um, exactly what I mean, but I just wanted to uh, kind of go over that really briefly um, so that we're not caught off guard when we get to it. So let's go ahead and start. We're jumping into files now. So let's go ahead and uh, create a path for this file. Okay. And we're, we want to actually write some text to it and then re, be able to read the text from the file uh, when we're done. So we're going to define a path. And again, this is actually, um, this code is available in the Microsoft documentation. I'll include a link in the description. So again, we're going to be using this at keyword, or excuse me, this at sign so that um, when if you decide, if you're on Windows, for instance, and your directory looks something like this, um, temp, then it would actually throw an error if we didn't have this at sign. So, excuse me, let's do that one more time. So you'd see um, my text test.txt and there it is so it's saying that um, it's looking for it's it, uh, trying to use it as an escape character so you'd have to put this at sign um, this is a good example of what the directory could be um, because we're going to be calling our um, our file my test um, you can put it in whatever directory you want. Um, I just want to make sure that you're aware that this at sign will be needed, uh, especially if you're on Windows. So this is what the my um, my path is going to look like um, since I'm on Mac. All right. So now we can just say if well, we're going to check and see if the file actually even exists first. Because if it does, then we're not going to make any changes to it. Um, but if it doesn't, then we're going to run our logic. So if it exists, we're going to use this path, and then here's our logic. So again, we're going to be creating a, an object, and um, we want it properly disposed of, so we're going to be using this using keyword. So and this object is going to be stream a writer. So, whoops, writer. All right. And we can just call this stream writer. All right. And this is going to be equal to, whoops, file dot create text. Whoops. So we're going to be creating some text. Well, this is uh, lowercase. This should be upper. We're going to be creating text here. Uh, in this file, and then we're, we need to specify the path to where this text is going to be created. Um, and of course, we can just use our path variable for that. All right, so now inside this using statement, we are going to um, essentially write uh, write our text to the file. So it's pretty simple. Um, 
we can just say call our stream writer dot write oops our stream writer there we go lowercase dot write line and then we can say whatever we want so it's just hello world um, we can say a few more lines like um, this is Ian and we can say I created this using C sharp alright so now let's go ahead and run this so we should see it show up in um, our directory our path and there it is on my desktop I'm gonna go over and reach it and we see it right here hello world this is Ian created this using C sharp so you should also be seeing this and if not a couple of common issues that um, come from this uh, well the main issue typically is the path make sure your path is clear um, and make sure you actually if you're having trouble writing it or you're not sure what exactly it is um, go to actually go and take a look at the properties of the folder you'd like to put it in and get the path straight from there and then you can just write uh, the name of the text file you'd like to create so that's a very common issue um, that I see a lot especially um, when trying to use files um, and it's typically an issue with the path so make sure your path is good to go and then the rest should be good to go so now that we've actually uh, written a few lines of text to our file, we can actually read them now in the console. So we're going to do the same thing using, and in this case, instead of stream writer, we're going to say stream reader. And we can say, we can create another object for that. And it equals file.read read all text we're actually not going to read we're actually going to open text all right so now um, we just put the path in there and then um, here's our scope so we can do um, well essentially what it's going to go through and do is it's going to um, go line by line and so we want to read each um, each line. So the way we would do that is we need to create um, a variable for the text that we're going to see. So it's going to be a string. We can call this a text um, text found from the file. All right, that's a eh, that's not the best name, but for tutorial purposes, it'll work. So now we're going to create a loop because we want this to happen every time um, there's a new line and we can't actually tell every time that there's a new line or not. So while um, this text found, so while this exists, um, well essentially it doesn't equal null, um, well, what we're what's going to happen is it's it's already null so we need to initialize it so um, text found equals um, text found oh excuse me it equals stream reader dot read line okay so now we should have um, now we should have our uh, text right here in the text found and as long as it doesn't equal null then we're going to console dot right line because we want to see this in the console and then we can just take a look at the text that was found so let's go ahead and run this all right so now it is in a serious loop so what we can do is 
uh, we'll go ahead and terminate this. And instead of um, having this, we can actually just put this in the while loop. So um, we're going to put this definition in here. We'll put it in parentheses. And there we go. Oh, whoops. There we go. All right. So now let's give that a shot and see that should fix our loop. There we go. So hello world. This is Ian. I created this using C sharp. All right. So the reason why it was uh, spinning out is because um, we found we had text. We read the first line and then it was um, always not null. So what this is doing is um, while this text found equals the stream reader read line and it isn't null, then it's going to um, write what it found. And then it's essentially going to go line by line and grab whatever um, grab whatever we found. So uh, that is essentially how you read and write text files. Um, it's fairly straightforward. There's a couple of new concepts. The stream reader, we used the using keyword. Um, or statement, and um, we saw well. We saw potential issues with this path, um, and yeah, again, fairly straightforward. But again, we did run into a couple of new concepts. Um, this is a pretty powerful tool. Um, it can come in very handy, especially if you decide to do some uh, data analysis using C sharp. Um, there are some very handy tools, believe it or not, in C Sharp to do uh, that, and we can use um, we can use data we found in other files as well. So thanks for watching this video, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one.